This is the Dueling Triangles block. It's done in two colors. And I'm making it today using the AccuQuilt Go die cutting system. For this, we'll need the 6.5 inch square die and we'll also need the 2 inch strip die. We will cut 6.5 inch squares in each color, 2 inch by 6.5 inch strips in each color, and 9.5 by 2 inch strips in each color. We'll also cut using a rotary cutter and ruler we will cut nine and a half inch triangles. Whenever I'm going to cut a shape like a square or triangles, I always cut across the width of the fabric and I cut just slightly wider than the shape that I need. And so for this, I need a six and a half inch square. So I'm going to cut across the width of this fabric at seven inches. That gives me about a quarter inch leeway on either side of the square when I get ready to fan fold the fabric onto the die. Now that I've cut the width of fabric, you can see that it's folded double here. I'm going to fan fold this across the six and a half inch strip die just like this and it, it, it you can see that it fits it a little bit to the outside of the lines that I have drawn and I have lines marked out on either end uh, extended out so that I can see even though I've covered up the lines on the blades themselves and so I can fan fold this over three times. That gives me six layers of fabric, which is approximately the maximum that you want to use uh, on these dies. And I'm going to run it through, and then I'll have my six and a half inch squares that I need to make my quilt blocks. When cutting strips, stitching and piecing is much more accurate when you use the lengthwise grain. So we use the width of fabric, we cut across the width of fabric and cut the length of the strip from that. The first thing we do is to carefully square, straighten the end edge of the fabric, and because we need six and a half inch strips and nine and a half inch strips. We're going to cut this very accurately. The first cut will be at six and a half inches. And the second cut will be a width of fabric that is nine and a half inches. Once these pieces are cut, we can fan fold these across the strip die to make our accurately cut strips. Now that I have strips cut six and a half inches and nine and a half inches across the width of the fabric, it's time to make my, to cut them into two inch strips. So I will fan fold them very carefully, being sure to match the edges. That's the six and a half inch. And I have registration lines that I have drawn with a Sharpie marker. Not only on the blades, but also um, extending across the die so that I can line these up at a 90 degree angle. And once that is laid across, I will add my mat and 
send this through the AccuQuilt Go Cutter. So that I will have the strips that I need. And here they are. Remove the waste. And that's a tiny little strip. And I have nine and a half inch long strips that are two inches wide and six and a half inch long strips that are two inches wide. After I have all the pieces cut, I then go to the machine and sew the strips onto the squares. So this is what the back of the square looks like. I have my six and a half inch long strips on either side and my nine and a half inch long strips on the other side. And so I have two separate squares uh, with uh, opposite colors. The next step is to take each of these squares and cut them from corner to corner to make two triangles. So I will cut this from corner to corner to make two triangles. And I will cut this from corner to corner to make two triangles. Now you might ask me why didn't I just make six and a half inch triangles and why didn't I just make six and a half inch triangles and um, sew strips onto the edges of them? Well, in fact, I did try that and it was a lot more trouble so I decided to do it this way. Once I have cut each of these blocks into triangles, I take the nine and a half inch triangles that match, I take the color that matches the strip on the outside and I match this up and then I'll stitch this to make this block. I wouldn't want you to think though that just because I stitched this together that it was finished because it's not. This comes out to be a nine inch square and I tried it at that size but it design wise it just didn't work as well for me. So I want this to be an eight and a half inch square and the way I do that is I take my ruler and there's a diagonal line across the ruler. This is a nine and a half inch square ruler and I place this diagonal line exactly in the corner here and I match up the one and a half inch lines with my strips and I trim the block there. Then I turn it around and I trim it again to be exactly eight and a half inches. And if you do it exactly, if you stitch exact quarter inches, then these seams will match up exactly in the corner and your strips will be the same size. Once that's done, these blocks can be arranged in a number of different ways. I have some written instructions online and you're welcome to download those instructions and I hope you make a beautiful quilt.